Chadwick Boseman takes a break from playing a superhero to play a super cop in 21 Bridges. He plays Andre Davis, a cop who has a notoriety of hunting down cop killers and maybe they don't always make it uh, through this police procedure alive. But he has this reputation, he has this notoriety and when we meet him at the start he is uh, going through internal affairs because you have to go through that whenever you discharge a gun and he's recently just killed a perpetrator of a crime who was trying to get away. Now we see in a flashback that his father was killed, he was a police officer as well and this has obviously scarred him and shaped the person that he has become. And when we see this really visceral and exciting action set piece at the start where we have these two criminals attack a building, a, a restaurant, to discover that it is filled with drugs, which they kind of knew was there, and but more than expected, and they're taking their whole police turn up and it turns into a bloodbath. These guys have to shoot their way out and they kill multiple cops doing it and they find themselves on the run while all of the police force is seemingly after them. Chadwick Boseman's character, Davis, is the man charged with hunting down these people and he has a limited time and wants to do it. Because of the amount of police involved, because of the, the dead that have been created because of these two actions, they decide to close down the island, cutting off all bridges and access out of the, the, the island so that these people are trapped here and they have a minuscule number of hours to track them down before it, it has to reopen just to allow uh, society to function as it normally would. And what we have is a chase movie. And what we don't have is these um, villains who are maniacal, over the top evil. We have people who have, you know, made choices that aren't the best for them, who have made decisions that aren't the greatest and they are regretting some of their choices already and some of the actions that they have taken. And we don't have these, you know, these are bad, this is good, we are going to see them defeat each other. We have a kind of morality play throughout it as well. There are twists and turns that come throughout the movie, but they're all kind of obvious and you can see what's coming. You have character actors in there and you're like, they're going to play a bigger part in this at some point. You can, you know, you always see it early on in the movie. But what I did like about this was the constant action. It's a quick run time of just over an hour, 40 minutes, and you have action, 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 and it's just great. Now, nothing ever achieves the greatness of that opening gunfight, but we have some great set pieces and you get some action of these two guys on the run being chased by almost every cop in this city, hunting them down. You also get this subplot as well of uh, Andre trying to figure out why these guys are doing what they're doing and trying to figure out why there is something not quite right about this whole situation. How he is the lead investigator of this investigation and he seems to be behind on all the information. He seems to be second best to all the locations where these guys are sighted. Everything seems to be ahead of him and he's constantly wondering why the hell this is happening, what's going on and why can't he run this investigation the way he's meant to. Understanding that police have died during this and people are a little bit angsty and a little bit desperate to get the people involved but still he wants to do his job to the best of his ability. Um, he doesn't go out there looking for blood but if it happens, he's, you know, it's going to happen. I kind of like 21 Bridges. I felt it had a, an interesting arc to it. I liked Andre as a character. I liked the two guys um, who are painted as the criminals at the start, but start to get a little bit better as they go on. They know they've done bad things. They know the repercussions to their actions, but they're not entirely evil. And I'll, the kind of ending of the movie I could see coming a long while away. Um, it was no revelation, it was no uh, excitement there, it just was going to be what it was going to be. It's a fun but forgettable action thriller, something that I enjoyed somewhat while I watched it. I'm never going to go back to again. And yeah, you can see that Chadwick Boseman is a really good, strong leading man. I liked him here, I liked him in uh, the Avengers movies, the Marvel Universe. I really liked him in Message from the King, and I'm looking forward to see what he does next. Hopefully, it'll be a little bit more memorable. Have you seen 21 Bridges? Let me know in the comment box below, and I'll see you next time on Man V Film.